thisfunrun.com. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make biscotti. There are a lot of different recipes for biscotti out there, but today I'll be showing you how to make my personal favorite. It's a really easy recipe and it's very versatile, so you can try adding different add-ins to customize it to your own personal taste. You're going to start by preheating your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I will be using my stand mixer for this recipe, but you can certainly use an electric hand mixer instead. The dough is going to get a little stiff as we move along, so I really like having my more heavy duty stand mixer, but I think you can get away with a hand mixer for this one. We are going to start with 10 tablespoons of unsalted butter. You want this to be softened to room temperature. Next, add one and a third cups of sugar and cream until well combined. Now we'll add three large eggs, adding them one at a time, and then stir in two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Now we're going to mix together your dry ingredients. You'll start with three and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. Add one tablespoon of baking powder and three-fourths teaspoon of salt. Stir these together, and then gradually add the dry ingredients to the wet, stirring until completely combined. Now comes my favorite part, the add-ins. I'm going to be adding chocolate chips and slivered almonds to this biscotti. That's two-thirds cups of mini chocolate chips and two-thirds cup of slivered almonds. And stir on low speed to combine. All right, now that we have our dough made, we are going to divide this into about two even pieces. I recommend dividing the dough directly on a parchment paper lined cookie sheet. Now lightly flour the dough and use your hands to mold the dough into logs that are about 10 inches long by two to three inches wide. We are going to bake our biscotti for 30 minutes on 350 degrees Fahrenheit. When it's done, the edges will be nice and golden brown. You'll need to let this biscotti cool completely before continuing. Now that the biscotti has baked and cooled completely, we are going to slice it. I recommend using a nice, sharp bread knife. For a classic biscotti appearance, I recommend cutting on an angle. Cut each slice about one to one and a half inches thick. And place your biscotti cut side down and return it to the oven to bake for another 10 minutes. After it's baked, we'll carefully flip each slice. And then bake again for an additional 10 minutes. At this point, your biscotti will be golden brown and it will be finished baking. And that is how you make biscotti. It is nice and crisp and it is so great for dunking in your coffee. I think you guys are going to love this recipe. As you saw, this recipe is really easy. So go ahead and try it at home. Try it with different add-ins and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.